Yes, you can file a patent application for your invention for virtually no cost. Let me show you how. Hi, I'm Elias Borges, and I'm a patent lawyer with over 32 years of experience. In this video, I'm going to reveal some easy steps to preparing and filing a provisional patent application. Your only cost will be the government filing fee, which is usually less than $100. At the end of the video, I'll show you a really easy way of writing a more customized patent application and filing it quickly. A provisional patent application is essentially a streamlined application that helps you quickly protect your patent rights at a minimum cost. It contains a detailed description of your invention, and when filed, it gives you the right to use the term patent pending. It allows you 12 months to explore your invention's market potential before filing a non-provisional patent application. You're going to need a few things, like a computer, a word processor, and either a simple drawing program or some paper and some drawing tools. You will also need a PDF creation software and a credit card. Check out the description below to learn the type of free software that I suggest that you use. The application has three parts, a written specification, some drawings, and a couple of forms. The drawings are simple black and white line drawings showing all of the key features of your invention. The written specification follows the following order, a title, a brief description of the drawings, a detailed disclosure of the invention, and, optionally, one or more claims. Links to the forms are included in the description of this video. Step 1. Draw out your invention. Here's a tip I've picked up over 32 years of writing patent applications. Start with the drawings. In particular, start with a single drawing which shows the entire invention. The drawing doesn't have to be beautiful or professional looking. It just has to be clear and have a one inch margin. Use black and white line drawings. Don't use color and don't use a photographic image. That first figure should illustrate as many of the key features of the invention as possible in one drawing. I usually start with a quick hand-drawn sketch and then revise it as I go along. When you're happy with that big picture, then try illustrating each feature of the invention in a separate drawing. Use different views to show different aspects of the invention, like a cross-sectional view, a side view, a top view, or even an exploded view. Prepare as many drawings as you need to fully illustrate as many of the features of the invention as possible. After you have these rough sketches, you can start writing the detailed description of the invention by referring to the drawings. You'll have time after the specification is written to go back and redo your drawings so that they look as neat and as clear as possible. Step 2. Write the detailed disclosure. Most patent agents start by creating a short list of the main key components of the invention. Start with an item number 10, which is the invention itself, and then add major component parts 12, 14, 16, 18. For example, if your invention is a vibrating toothbrush, with 10 different parts. You would use item number 10 for the toothbrush itself, followed by handle 12, brush head 14, neck 16, switch 18, charge port 20, bristles 22, and so on. If you had to add a feature later on, you can just simply add an odd-numbered numeral like 15 or 23 without having to renumber everything that you've done. Make sure you don't use the same number to describe more than one thing. 
You can start the description with a short paragraph talking about what the purpose of the invention is, like, for example, the present invention is a vibratory toothbrush that is adapted to keep the brush head sterile and aid in the killing of bacterial plaque, or something like that. Then you can add a sentence or two describing in general terms what the new feature of your invention is. For example, quote, The present invention includes an ultraviolet LED lamp positioned adjacent the brush head to aid in keeping the brush head sterile, or something like that. Keep the introduction brief. Here's another tip I've learned from 32 years of writing patent applications. Write the description by describing what's shown in each of the drawings, one figure at a time. After you have the introduction done, start a new paragraph by describing what's in figure one. A great way to start the paragraph is using the phrase, quote, referring firstly to figure one, the invention is shown generally as item 10 and includes handle 12, brush head 14, neck 16, etc. Basically, just describe everything that's shown in figure one, naming all of the constituent parts as you go. Use the regular names for those parts if you can. If there's no standard or regular name for that part, then create a new term, which makes sense. After you describe the features shown in figure one, move on to figures two, then figures three, four, and the rest. Start off the next paragraph with language, something like, quote, referring now to figure two, end quote. This indicates that you're going to start to talk about a new figure, in this case, figure two. Talk about the drawings one figure at a time. Don't jump from figure to figure. So in each paragraph, try to talk about only one figure. Now that you have the detailed description of the invention done, go back to the drawings and add the other elements of the specification that you might have referred to. Double check to make sure that you have not used the same item number more than one time and make those drawings as clear and as neat as you possibly can. Then when you're satisfied with the detailed description and you're satisfied with your drawings, now you can add the additional parts of the specification. Step three, create a title. The first part of the written application must be the title. Select a title for the invention that describes what the invention is in just a few short words. For example, vibratory toothbrush or electric snow shovel, something like that. Keep it short and keep it descriptive. Don't add any trademarks or proposed trademarks into the title. Step four, create a brief description of the drawings. After the title, you'll need a brief description of the drawings. This is a series of separate sentences which briefly describe each of the drawings. For example, quote, figure one is a perspective view of a toothbrush made in accordance with the present invention, end quote. Quote, figure two is a side view of the head portion of the toothbrush shown in figure one, end quote. That's the sort of thing we're talking about. Keep it short, just one sentence. Step five, prepare a claim. Now claims are not necessary in a provisional application, but some people do like to include them. Basically, a claim is a numbered paragraph at the end of the specification, which defines your invention by reciting the necessary components of the invention. It's sort of like a list of key features. Writing good claims isn't easy, and I'll be creating a video just for that. So subscribe to this channel and make sure that you see that video when it comes out. For a provisional application, you don't have to include a set of claims, but if you want, you can include, say, a bullet point form list of features which you think are inventive. Step six. 
prepare the forms. Essentially, there are two basic forms that you need. A provisional transmission form, sometimes known as an SB16, and, if you qualify, a micro-entity form. Follow the links in the description below to where you can download those forms. You'll have to download them and fill them out. Save the completed and signed forms as a PDF file. Step 7. Assemble it all. Assemble the specification with the title at the top of the page, of the first page, followed by the brief description of the drawings, then the detailed description, followed by the claims, if you're going to be including claims. Make sure that the pages are numbered. Print the specification as a PDF document and give the file a name which is appropriate, something like application.pdf. Don't use spaces or special characters in the file name. Now scan your drawings as PDF files and name the files drawings.pdf, something like that. Have the PDF forms available. Now you're ready to file the patent application directly with the patent office via their website, so I suggest you put all of those files in just one folder. Step 8. Upload to the U.S. Patent Office's website. Log in to the U.S. Patent Office's patent site and follow the links to log on as a guest. Enter in some basic information about you and then follow the instructions and upload the files. Double check that they're the right files. You might get an error indicating that the file name is wrong, so make sure that each file name is just a single word without spaces. When you've double-checked everything, you press the Submit button and then pay the filing fees using your credit card. The payment process is straightforward. Just follow the instructions. You're going to be paying as a guest. When you've submitted your application and paid for the filing fee, you'll be sent to a page giving you options to download and print the filing confirmation. Make sure you do that. Print it out and keep a copy for your files. And that is it. You now have a patent application filed and you can refer to your invention as patent pending. Now, here's that tip I told you about. This is a way you can get your patent application written and prepared as easily as you possibly can, I think. What you can do is you can do a patent search through Get Google's patent search tool and look for patents which are similar to your invention. When you find a couple of patents which seem similar to your invention, print them out and then read them over carefully. Note the language that they use in descri to describe their invention in that patent application and note the sort of drawings that they use to illustrate the invention. Basically, what you can do is use those patents as a guide to help you draft your own provisional patent application. Now, one final thought. Presently, I'm working on an online course on how to prepare and file your own provisional patent application, which goes into a lot more detail, particularly in the whole drawing of the patents and writing up the application and the claims. I hope to launch that course shortly, in a month or two. So if you're interested, you can just send me an email to the link I provided in the description below, and when the course is available, I'll let you know. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like or, you know, feel free to share this video with people that you know. And if you have any questions or comments, please send them to me. See you next time, everyone.